ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Vampire Coast Co-op Edition. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. And I am Atoli. And Atoli. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. How, how, how is you? your how is your cold? Please don't get mad at me for asking. Um, it has been literally a very long time, and it's over. Yes, but I think for the viewers it may have only been last week. Oh, well, it has been a while, <laughs> and I am over that cold. Yes, Thank so I, I took a, a brief um, vacation between jobs, although I did a big, we did a big bunch of bulk recording during that time. Yep. So uh, the last four or five weeks, as you could probably tell from Atoli's cold, we're all kind of recorded together, and we are back now. It's almost July. Jeez. Oh, no. Indeed. Oh, no, Martek has fallen. No. I mean, I wish I cared. Hey, we finally encountered encountered the clan that we're trying to murder. Oh, did we finally find we we found them? Huh? I, yeah, oh, you want a Morse. peace treaty? I I don't think I'm giving peace treaties right now. I don't remember who I'm at war with or really why. But I'll be honest, I feel like just giving anyone peace right now is probably not in my best interest. Indeed. Why is my reliability low? Because you probably declared war on someone. Let's see. This random rogue army wants a non-aggression pact. I. That's between you and that rogue army. Where are you? Whatever strange relationship you and Mengil get into. Where, where, where even is Mengil? Mengil is currently being... I don't know. You know what? Sure. What? Making peace treaties now. No! I, it was a non-aggression pact! My god. Shameful is what it is. Alright. I'm gonna slay the Kurs. Get 3,000 gold. Very good. Also, how is Nagaron doing? Plus 18%? See, they love you. Yeah. They were like, thank you for getting rid of Malekith. We really didn't want him here. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. No, it's fair. It is. Just gonna build lots of buildings in Lothurn. Because I own Lothurn. Yes, well, you own, um... Oh, yeah, Lothurn. I always get Lothurn and Ulthuan mixed up when I'm talking about them. That's fair. I think I do the same. I'm gonna kick... Oh, don't kick things. I'm gonna kick this random zombie. No, that poor out zombie. Out of Silostra's, uh, army. Oh no. And throw uh, Robert back into her troops. I see. She just sacrificed. What, how many zombies are in a unit? Isn't it like a hundred? A lot. You just killed a hundred zombies, so one ghost boy and his horse could be with you. Yeah, that ghost boy and his horse is way more valuable to me than those hundred zombies. My, I just I can't believe how cold you are. I. You've changed it totally. No, I'm just more tactical. I see. What's going on? Um, I am moving some peeps around. I see. Uh, where do I want Isabella Hodgson's to go? Probably up this way. Probably. Ah, her, yes. All right. And then, you know what? What do I, I know? I feel like I want the Great Arena. The Great Arena? Yeah. I mean, that that's not even the same settlement area. I know. But, but you know what? You need an arena, take your arena. I do need an arena. All right. Well. Uh, oh, Bones, please go take this arena. Possibly with the support of this other... The army on the sea? Yeah, maybe. No, that won't go in. Oh, it doesn't matter. No. We're going to auto-resolve this. Excellent. Because it is a absolute slaughter. <laughs> I mean... One could see it that way, yes. <laughs> it's an absolute slaughter. I mean, I lost 500 people. That is ridiculous. I was gonna say you shouldn't have lost that many, but um, it won't take that long to replenish zombies. No, it's not going to. I've taken it. There let's, you go. Let's put a get some vampiric corruption in these. That's areas. basically that's that's kind of why I did it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we have for armies floating around? We have Mal. Oh, Malekith isn't dead. I forgot he actually wasn't the one defending his home. Nope. He is not. Can I actually put a cove in? Or am I still on cooldown for that? Uh, I would tell you at the top of the screen. Yeah, no, I'm I, I have I 15 I turns until can. I can do it again. Let's put one uh -huh. here. And get some more corruption going. Okay. Please establish a pirate cove. Oh, it's sky high. I mean, is that really worth it on one I'm going to put it. I'm actually going to put the smuggler's cove in there to get some more money, but... Bye -bye. I just... Okay. I just meant since, aren't you going to take that area? Uh... No, I guess so. Well, Maybe. Already... I, no, it's, no, probably not. I was going to say, you've done I it can... now, yeah. so... No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. 
Um, All right. I'm going to make doing that cost less. Uh huh. That is perfect. Um, and who else needs to move? I'm getting screen tearing. Really? Yeah. That's weird. I just need to me mess with my um, my Settings. frame rates later. Gotcha. All right, where are you doing this? Um, like? I am looking at my technology real quick. Give me one moment. Is it? Is it? Have amazing? I not? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. What have you never? I have never gotten the upped missile damage for the mortar, the carronade, the deck gunners, or the queen best. Can I not? Where was that one? Um, it is the first. It's the topmost under the gunnery crews. Oh, the firepower one. Maintained cannons. Yeah. You never got that. I never got that. Oh, it's a good one. I know, I know. That's why I'm like, oh, I should probably... Just giving 10% to all your that. ranged weapons is pretty darn good. I think it was Indeed. probably one of the first ones I got. Listen. I'm listening. I make poor decisions sometimes. That Where's is, Cat Butters? I, I don't know. You have your own controls. And yeah. I don't have a character named Cat Butters. I'm trying to find her. Well, just use your menu. The Lords and Heroes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Welcome back. It's been Sorry, a while. it's been a little while. Uh, Cat butters. Totally, right, we're Tommy, so close Tommy to Tommy Rainers is is dead right now. Cat butters, where are you? Yeah, old bones McDonald's dead on mine. Too. Oh, you were just hanging out here. That's right. It's because you're in March. Go get this island. Please. Holy heck! What? I was just looking at um, uh, what Kemri? Uh huh. There are six large battles. Oh my God! Really? Yeah. Dang. What'd you get? Um, I got some money and some wax seals. Cool. Yep. I'm trying to frame it, but every time I do, you bounce me back. Oh, I'm I'm really sorry. No, no, I needed no, to move fine. cat butter some more. Can can she get another one? No, but she's she'll be able to get two next turn. Cool. Uh, all right. So I've moved them. You... Yeah, I'm over here in Kemri. Uh huh. And I can get at least six in frame. Nice. It's That's... like holy hell, the undead must be. That is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Cray cray. All right, I think that is my turn. Okay. Unless I want to summon another Queen Bess, and I don't. Nope, because so... you can only have one. I know, that's such a... I mean, I know why. I get it. But, like, at the same time, don't give me the option to summon another one if yeah, I can't actually use it. All right, passing the turn to you, sir. Excellent. Thank you very much. All righty. Now, good old Burke Black, what are you doing? Now, here's the thing, Bretonia. You pissed me off. And that's, that's the problem here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see... Well, I guess we have our battle for this episode. Oh, yeah? I don't know if I agree with them on this. But let's try it. Shall we? Very well. Yeah, they're giving we this, shall... they're yeah, giving that's, this they're very giving... even, and I'm like, I don't agree. Especially with how damaged they are. I mean, I guess because they have walls? They have walls and archers. It won't help. Yeah, I'm like, you have three mortars. I have three mortars and a cannon. And a cannon. I really don't know if that's going to help. I doubt I it. I mean, I guess you're, maybe because also because you're, um, your general's injured. <laughs> Whatever. But like, do you have three units, four units of Morn Ghouls in this army? What is this army? This army <laughs> is pain. That's why, that's actually probably another reason it's giving you such disadvantage. They can't go on the walls. Oh, boo-hoo, said I. I'm not saying that you're not going to absolutely, like, wreck these uh, Bretonians, but mm -hmm. but that might be why the this, the game is saying what it's saying. Yeah. All right, so they're going to go there. What I'm going to do is we're going to do something fancy. See, now it's giving it to you a lot more in your favor. Yep. Because it realized, oh crap, it's him. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened, you're it right. It is. All yeah, right. Put some cannons over you there. drop that, please. Thank you. We're going to put the sirens on the battering ram. Does that make sense? Yep. So she will go there. The rest of the army is going to follow up behind. We are going to use the gunners as a shot absorption shield. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. So, here is the front line on this side. Excellent. I am also going to give you command over these zombie gunners. Okay. Because you are going to command this entire side. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Um, I will control the ram. Um, let's see. 
because you are going to go ahead and control the front line, you can have the general. Okay. He is there for you. Um, and I am going to keep my cursed ammunition back. Does that sound good? Yep. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Beginning. All right. Pausing immediately. Sending the sirens to charge that gatehouse. Okay. I I'm... forgot to deploy the mortars correctly. Oh, whoops. That's okay. They're not really that far out of position, so I'm not too upset about it. Do you want me to go ahead and start moving the guns up to... Yeah, pull the guns up. Just basically, I would take the guns and just kind of bring them up to here so they can shoot up and kind of take the shots from these towers. Okay. And then you can send the rest of the guys to take the walls behind them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. I am just going to shell the ever-living crap out of their archers. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Meanwhile, this cannon is going to fire on the gatehouse all right you ready uh give me one moment very well yes i'm ready away we go keep in mind if things get in front of the gunners they will start getting shot right i don't oh, i guess they are a little faster they than are can i pause them Oh, I can make them not run. Yep. Just gonna drop that, see what damage I can do, start screwing with their morale. Alright, the cannonade is getting shot to fuck. Okay. Oh, from the... Oh, yeah. geez, yeah, I see that. Can you pull it back, or...? Not really. I'm gonna send some stuff forward, see if I can absorb some shots. Okay. We are still fine. I'm not particularly oh, yeah. worried. Yeah. A curse on you. Many curses. All right, cans down to one gun. So that did not work out the way I'd wanted. That's okay. That will still win. Excellent. It's like I'm not super worried about it. No, no, I wouldn't be either. Unfortunately, I think those uh, towers just had full range. I was hoping I was a little out of it. But... Yeah, no, I've had that happen to me before, too. Yeah. Oh, well. That is fine. All right, get to the walls. Let's go. All right. I'm still not super worried at this moment. Yeah, no. Considering I have already broken most of the stuff they had on the walls. Yep. No, it's been good. All right, more ghouls are going to go into the gatehouse and see what they can do. Uh, cannonade guys are probably going to die. Oh, well. You can summon more. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely can. I'm not too worried about it. All right, make sure you get your uh, depth guard guys back and running. Yeah, no, they, they were. They're just good. being weird about getting actually onto the wall. Okay, just checking. All right, ladders have docked with the walls. Yep. Yeah, they're starting to climb. Very good. Guys, move forward. Dropping artillery on the walls. My Morn Ghouls are humping the doors. The doors have fallen. Screw the cannons! <laughs> Dude, I had a battle the other day, um, like in a single player thing, yeah. where for some reason, um, my cannon wouldn't hit the door until it was directly in front of it. Sometimes the pathfinding gets a little weird. The doors are down. Oh my god, those like those uh I like the bullets from the um Oh, that rare unit? Yeah. Yeah. They are nasty. Also the uh wraiths have charged through the door. I see that. I'm going to uh start sending... I'm going to shanty. Ooh, excellent. The walls are ours. Yep, I see that. Oh god. Alright, one unit of peasant halberds versus four units of Morn Ghouls. Dun dun dun! Who do you think's gonna win? Probably. I mean, the halberds have the advantage. They have bonus versus large. Oh, they do, yeah. The Morn Ghouls, however, have four units of Morn Ghouls. 
And they are just going the to... The archers have charged in. They have broken immediately. Beautiful. There is blood everywhere. I don't actually have the uh, blood. If I had the blood expansion installed, uh -huh. this would be terrifying. It would. There are bodies flying everywhere, Atoli. I'm not even paying attention to the other side of the board. I'm just watching these eight men get surrounded and consumed. It's it, The other side of the board is going It's fine. terrifying. I, I imagine it is. Oh, God, the humanity. Sigma protect these men. I mean, the Bretonians. I'm not sure they believe in him, but whatever. <laughs> All right, what do I have on this side of the board? I have some stuff. Mortars? I don't even know what you guys are doing. Do you guys even work here anymore? Do they even work here anymore? No one knows. Do you see what these Morgul's have done? Uh, yes, I have watched them just absolutely wreck face. Oh, they're playing. It's beautiful. Alrighty, what's going on over here? Oh, a bunch of knights charging into the sirens. Oh, yes. That's not going well for the knights. Yeah, no, it's not. Apparently, steel lances don't work on ghosts. I would have never guessed. You know, that's that's surprising. I would have thought you would have guessed that. Nope, nope, oh. definitely never would have guessed that. Okay, well, fair enough. All right, well, we're just going to charge into the Lord and kill him now. Yep. If that's okay. Yep. Cool. I'm sending uh, my generals on his way to help. Very good, very good. That, that's fine. I have a trail of about 200 more ghouls who are... Uh, <laughs> who are just sorry, yeah, They're, they're kind of lining up, actually. There's a, kind of a queue system forming right now. Fascinating. Um, also, the mortars are still, you know, being mortars. I see a depth guard unit has come to join us. Welcome. Yep. All right. Well, I mean, this lord is a high threat. Yeah, is he? Yeah, is I mean, I, I could actually use a little bit of assistance. I am on my way. I mean, there's all these handgunners just hanging out. They should have been moving in. I they should have. Should have, could have, would have. Guys, get through the door. Oh, oh, I am so sorry, but it would appear that the Lord has peed his pants. And by the rules of honor in Old Bretonia, that does mean the battle is now ours. So because of that, you all will now leave my city and die. And die. I was done with the cannon. It's okay. See, my goal was to just knock the doors down with the cannon mm -hmm. and then charge them in. Right. I think I should have just charged them in. Yeah, apparently they could do some decent work on the the, the door. doors. Yeah, they can they can tear them know. down. So that did not cease. take long, actually. But Atoli, please, please for all of oh, us. Oh, I did not sneeze. It's okay. Everything's yes! fine. A glorious day. <laughs> That's why I said and gave the warning because I was hoping if I acknowledged that it was happening, uh -huh. it would go away. I see. I'm just I'm just gonna take this city because I'm I'm tired of dealing with these humans. Oh, that was over there? Oh, yes. Okay. It was a Bretonian. Oh, I see. What did oh, you... I see here. Sorry, for some reason it showed me Sartosa's land, and I was like, what the heck? Oh. Well, my deepest apologies. Oh, there's still some alive. Look at that. He kind of looks like Robert, but Oh, yeah, there is like, there is like one Although army. Although you can see his human face inside. I'm sorry? Still human. The Bretonian. Oh, that's oh, outside oh I outside of That's in the water outside of the city you just took? Yes, I see what you're saying. It's just really weird to me because I'm so used to looking at undead Bretonians. Yes. That was normal movement. That's uh, You have ridiculous movement. I do. It's you have, great. like, such ridiculous movement. It's so good. All right, two toes Adley. Where do we wish to send you? I think this, this, this lovely Skull Island. Ooh. Yes, I think we shall raid this cove. Very good. This will be a good place for you to wet your whistle, as it were. Dun, dun, dun. Much dun, dun. Let's go ahead and smash it out in this episode. Sweet. Spectating. It's okay. See, the problem is I just need a lot of money at this point to buff up all my... Um, my admirals. I mean, I can give you money. If you no, want. no, I'm at that point. I need ten thousand gold a building. Yeah, no, I get that. 
And I'm making 20,000 gold a turn. It's just... It's a lot of gold. Yeah. Also, this is an open field. I figured this wouldn't be too hard. And every other time I fought on this field, we have won handily. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a problem. I mean, you have mortars in this, don't you? Oh, lordy, yes. Oh, lordy. Oh, Indeed. lordy, Miss Morty. You are, in fact, correct. This is an okay landscape. Oh, just the... Uh, like a generic sort of the hilly... The general coastline yeah. of um, Lustria. Yeah. All right, we have a spellcaster. She is just an accuracy buff. And we have a tides accuracy buff. So enjoy those. Nice. Uh, do you want the flanking units or just the front line? Um, give me the doggos. But you don't want the Morgul's? No, you can have the Morgul's. You seem to, to have hit an affinity with them. I've always had an affinity for the Morgul's. Well, you, okay, so. But, I mean, if you're already controlling half the flanking units, should okay, you fine, not control yeah, all just of give, them? Just, yeah, just give them all to me. Oh, wow, such an attitude. All right, well, I have my seven pitiful units. Okay, well, no, now I feel bad. Here, take them back. You may have the flanking units. Okay. I'm just a little confused, but very well. I am ready when you are. Okay, it's your battle. You have to start it. All right. Well, you hadn't told me you were ready. I was ready. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I'm going to do a quick pause. Let's do a range check. Okay. Okay, we are just outside of their range. We are in their range. Okay, so we are going to bring up the front line. Okay. Use this wood as your edge. Okay. That Does sounds that good. Make sense. Yep. Very good. Where did, yeah, there. All right. I have told everybody to move. All right. I'm just bringing my guys up as well. Okay. Uh, grabbing mortars because I basically need to start them targeting things. Yep. Do you want me to buff them or wait for a second? Wait, because okay. I'm outside of range, so we're actually going to have to move. Okay, that makes sense. That's that's what I figured. Yeah, so you can go for them. You can go for them. And you can go there. All right, depth guard around the flanks. I need to keep an eye on that. Yeah, for some reason, the AI does that a lot. I, well, I think because you, they're trying to surround. If you can get in, it works. Yeah. Okay, good. Also, by moving up, we end up scooting past a few shots. All right, gonna go ahead and start casting buffs. Yeah, go ahead and do that. From the maelstrom. From the maelstrom, indeed. I'm gonna try dropping our not the artillery, but the um, the wraith storm on their artillery. Okay. That did more work than I was expecting. Nice. And they're coming forward. Good. Let them. We shall close the noose around their neck. Nice. Thankfully, the depth guard should not do as much to your Morn Ghouls, at least on one side, because they're the axe guys, not the um, yep. the pole arms. Oh, yeah, I know. both of them are the axe. Oh, yeah. I'm paying attention. Don't worry. All right, Atoli. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Engage units. All right. So. Uh, do you want me to assist with those depth guard with some other depth guard, or do you want me to go for other things? Go for other things. I can deal with the depth guard. Okay. Because uh, these depth guard are high threat, so actually, I'm gonna. What I'm doing with the depth guard on the flanks uh -huh. is I'm actually going to keep back a little bit. Okay. And get some firing into them and then flank them. Okay. It's Sounds okay, good. but engage everything else. Yep. And you just let me know when you are ready. Um, I believe I am ready. Very good. Okay, so that shot's going there. Let's go ahead and get two on that. All right. Going. Uh, 
And see, now I get them into the backs of the depth guard. Yep. And now they're, uh, they're sandwiched between the guns and the guys. Nice. And so they are dead. Sorry, I got a little quiet there as I was figuring all of that out. That is um, quite all right. All right, going to slow speed, do that. All right, I see a halberd unit not engaging yet. Where? Oh, yeah, that's weird. Sorry about that. Firing off the quick shanty. All right, that unit has been removed from existence, changing targets. Nice. That Dev Guard unit on the left is gone. <laughs> I see that. All right, bringing my guys in. Mm-hmm. All right, just keeping it, it's sort of a, I'm just keeping it in slow mo to keep track of everything. Yep. All right, on the right side, we can see the hounds have dug into one of the units, the long ranged units. Yep. The Morngools are joining you with your halberds. I see that. Firing down a quick wraith storm to just help clear some stuff off. Okay. Gonna do a All right. buff. There. Keep closing the noose. Yep. I most certainly am. I'm having um, the generals yep. and the uh, other person go for the... But do you see that this is there's this one unit who's open who can swing around into the center here? Oh, yes, I see that. Sorry, I yes. didn't... Yeah, bring him in. Okay. I'm having them move around and then like getting behind. Very good. All right, and then you guys can go Maybe. for that. guys. Maybe who? Oh, you paused it. Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry. They weren't moving, and I was like, um, what is happening? <laughs> All right, back to normal speed. Back to normal speed. All right, now charge in. Very good. All right, Death Guard on the right flank are open and available for a new target. There are range units. I'm going to send them into the guns. Yeah, I was going to say, there's range units directly in front of them. I am sending the hounds into the, their artillery in the back. I have openings. I'm going for it. Okay. And all right, the other unit on the right has just died. Nice. Bringing the Morngools up. I'm also going to have my guys go and help that mass in the middle. Very good. Yeah, we, we have them surrounded there in the middle. That group should be dead momentarily. Yep. Um, these guys can probably actually hold their fire now. These guys are good. Where are you three putting your shots? Holding fire on all artillery. Okay. All right. This battle is now in cleanup mode. I, indeed it is. All right, hounds have reached the artillery. Excellent. Where are your other hounds? Uh, in the other artillery. Okay, gotcha. There were two artillery units. I hit both. Entire army is dead. Kill the general. Working on it. Cleared. Nice. Excellent. All right, took a fair amount of damage from all of that, but then again, she's going to have plenty of turns to regenerate, and most of it was health damage, not unit loss. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're, you, you have one set of scurvy dogs that are a little achy, but... Yeah, and that's just because I used them to pin down a depth guard unit to get shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did barely any damage to us. That's nice. Another victory. Oh, actually? Yeah. I can regenerate all my health immediately. Also, get 20,000... Gold! Nice. Yes, it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while the money sound ticks away, we will join you next time. If you have enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. This has been Atoli. And this has been the Alchemical Rabbit. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.